In a previous lesson, we encountered the allylic pi system, which consists of a double bond adjacent to a CH2 group bearing cationic, anionic, or radical character. The vinyl group within the allyl system is not that different from a benzene ring, in the sense that both are associated with resonance delocalization of positive charge, negative charge, or radical character. There's a structural analogy between the top and bottom molecules, in that we can find all of the atoms of the allylic cationic pi system, in this case, within this structure as well. We refer to the top pi system here as an allylic pi system, and to the bottom as a benzylic pi system. And whereas the allylic pi system has only one alternative important resonance form, because of the extreme electron delocalization within the benzene ring, the benzylic pi system has three alternative resonance forms. And these illustrate the delocalization of either charge or radical character over the benzylic carbon, which is this one highlighted in blue, and the ortho and para positions. I won't draw out the resonance structures explicitly, but you should take a moment to do this for the benzylic cation to convince yourself that the positive charge is delocalized over these carbons and not the meta positions. In the remainder of this video, we're going to look at some implications of the stability of benzylic pi systems in a manner analogous to what we did previously for the allylic pi system. Benzylic pi systems involve either a cationic carbon, anionic carbon, or radical carbon directly connected to a benzene ring so that the charge or radical character is delocalized over the benzene pi system. Because of the resonance delocalization of charge or radical character, these species are relatively stable, and they pop up often as reactive intermediates in organic reactions. Let's consider a few examples of this. One important example concerns benzylic halides and pseudohalides in nucleophilic substitution reactions. Looking, for example, at this molecule, benzyl bromide, naively we might expect that this can only do SN2 because of the primary nature of the electrophilic carbon. However, because dissociation of bromide would lead to a heavily resonance stabilized carbocation, a benzylic cation in this case, this molecule can participate in SN1 reactions, say with a weak nucleophile like water, at an appreciable rate. The molecule toluene, which is methyl substituted benzene, CH3PH, is relatively acidic, more acidic than, for example, methyl cyclohexane, whose conjugate base lacks the resonance stabilization of the benzylic anion here. Here we're using the stability of the conjugate base to rationalize the reactivity, and more specifically, the acidity of the conjugate acid, toluene. Toluene is also susceptible to radical halogenation reactions using NBS. Previously, we've seen NBS as a reagent that can engage in allylic halogenation, but the benzylic position is analogous to the allylic position as we've seen, and so the treatment of toluene with NBS leads to bromination at the benzylic carbon, this carbon here. This involves the benzylic radical intermediate, which forms after abstraction of a hydrogen from the benzylic position. All three of these examples are meant to highlight the relative stability of benzylic pi systems, be they cations, anions, or radicals. And you should keep in mind benzylic carbons as relatively activated positions that are susceptible to reactivity in certain situations. 